Of course, my elbow is ashy. Hey y'all, so I'm about to wash my leaf out. I just sectioned off my sew-in from my leave out which is just a little bit of hair in the front and the top of my head so i need to wash that and make it fresh i need to wash it because it's getting a little filthy lighting is horrible but i have a shoot tomorrow and this is my second shoot since being a creator i'm gonna use these two shampoos i'm gonna use this garnier fruity shampoo and conditioner i should have done this like on sunday but it's the night before the shoot and i just really need to wash the nasty stuff out of my hair so that's what I'm about to do the top part of my hair is really not that bad it's really the sides and the front because there's so much like product in here it's really hard to flat iron it and get it you know looking its best so I'm just gonna put a little bit of shampoo in the very front to get rid of the buildup and then for the rest of it uh, and then for the rest of it, I'm just going to use conditioner because I don't like to use too much shampoo. So I just conditioned my hair. I actually ended up washing the whole front and sides. And I'm conditioning it right now. And then I'm just going to wash this off. And um, I think I'm going to let it air dry for a little bit. And then I'm going to just blow dry it once. I'm done with the air trend. This has been in my head for like five minutes. I'm gonna wash it out now. You can wash your whole head of weave if you want to, but I really just didn't have time to dry my hair, so I have to just do the front right now. So I probably would never wash this myself anyway. Hey girl, hey curls. So my hair is pretty dry, it's not a hundred percent, but I'm gonna use this brush. I'm gonna try out this bedhead TGI brush to try straightening my hair out. I did kind of use it earlier today, but my hair was already straight, so I didn't really get to see how it would work. So I'm going to try it out, let you guys know, or see how it works. I'm not sure where to put this camera because um, it's not really any good spots in here. I am wrapped up in a blanket because I'm cold. I'm always cold, you guys. I'm going to just try doing this section. Oh, that one's pretty straight. Oh, wow. Okay. I think it's pretty good. I mean, my hair is getting pretty straight from this. Alright, so I just did that little section, and my hair is getting pretty straight with this brush. I'm impressed. Let me get, um... I'm going to use this heat protectant on my hair to keep it protected from heat. All right, this brush is pretty much like a flat iron, you guys. Like it's, it's like a flat iron. It's getting my hair really straight. You can see. Hopefully, you can see. All right, I'm gonna. I have to do my part in because my hair is just. sure I spray the ends because my ends are already fried I cannot afford to have them anymore fried I feel like you guys see that do you guys see this wow so happy I'm doing this because my hair was getting very dirty and just not looking cute and we can't be looking dirty and not cute <laughs> all right let me try to get closer to the um, roots of my hair I feel like I still will need to use a flat iron just because it's just gonna help the ends more of course my elbow is ashy Closer to the roots. I think that brush is pretty good and it did get my hair really, really straight, which is crazy. I don't think, 
I don't think I have any, I've never had my hair be so straight from one of these types of brushes. So this one is definitely up there. Um, it's the best one I've tried so far. I'm actually going to take my flat iron now and just go over my hair to make sure it's straight from the root because the brush just can't really get close to the root. My flat iron, my flat iron is not working at its best because I kind of messed with it. This flat iron is a little broken. I messed up the plates with um, just like, I used it on a wet wig and it messed up the plates a little bit. It's just not working the same as it used to. It's still working, it's just not the same. It's not, it's not giving me that same effect, you know. Probably need to replace it. Which is annoying because it's really good and it's really expensive. Alright, so this is this section. I really want to focus on the roots because that's where I have the most, you know, texture. This um, sewing is designed with the middle part. Next time I think I'm going to get like a more diverse or is it this diverse the right word a more what are, what am I trying to say I'm thinking of all types of words uh, more like diverse <laughs> I don't know why my brain is stuck on the word diverse but like I want a part that can be more manipulated that I have more um, options in the way I can part my hair. I usually put edge control down here anyway, but I like to get it looking the same. I like to get it as straight as I can. I'm going to run it through the um, my weave a little bit just so that the two textures like blend together. You guys see how well this blends with my hair? Like it blends so well. I mean you can see my hair because the ends are like not the best but the color and everything is just really good. The texture. So there's going to be a hairstylist there, but I like to just make sure my hair looks like decent. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to braid my hair and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm having a pick me up latte this afternoon and I'm about to meal prep. Well, Johnny is really about to meal prep, but I'm going to try to make some chili. I don't have all the ingredients, but I do have some stuff. So, what? This is garbage. <laughs> I have some chili powder. I have some seasonings here. Um, I'm gonna just try making some chili. Yeah, I have a bunch of stuff. Trader Joe's, seasonings, onion salt. I do have some tomatoes, um, black beans, and tomato sauce. Uh, I'm gonna first brown this and then I'm gonna add it into the slow cooker. All right, well, I'll come back and, and we'll change it if you don't like it in a minute. Oh, I also got these. I know I told you guys I wanted to get matching stuff for the tablecloth. I found these at Home Goods, so I got these two. Then I got this um, kitchen towel, so you can see it matches the tablecloth really well. So, um, so it's been about 15 minutes and the ground turkey is browned and I added some seasonings to this part. The crock pot I'm going to use today, this is just a basic crock pot. It says I'm going to add these crushed tomatoes. We're gonna add this. Then we're going to add this red sauce. Then we're going to add some chili. Stop, 
Turmeric is good for everything, so let's always add some turmeric. This is some onion salt. So the chili is looking really good. I think it's pretty much done. I'm just gonna let it sit in the pot though. I'm just gonna let it sit in the pot for a little longer. We try to meal prep on Sunday so that way we have food for the whole week.